every single day, somebody messages me and says, Dusty, man, I wish you would run for president, dude. Because if you run for president, I would totally vote for you. Yeah, like that ever let my ass anywhere near the White House. Just not going to happen, man. But, you know, that'd be interesting. I wonder what it would be like if Dusty were president. Hey, guys, what's up? It's me, Dusty. And I'm the president now, somehow. You can tell I'm the president because I'm wearing a tie. And also, when you guys elected me, you gave a super majority to my party in both houses of Congress. And they've all sworn total loyalty to me, which gives me dictator-like powers. Isn't that fucking awesome? So now that I'm elected and the campaign's over, people are like, what are you going to do now, Dusty? Well, I'll tell you exactly what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm actually going to tell you people what I think about you now. First off, I want to talk to you rich Americans out there, you 5%. I swear to God, you're the whiniest fucking bitches that ever lived. Little titty babies. Fucking crying and whining all day because the government wants you to pay a little bit of it back. None of you built your fucking wealth on your own. There's a whole societal system here that was built up around your success. Schools that fucking taught your employees, that taught you. Roads, military that kept you safe. Every single one of you built your success on the back of others. And now you're crying and bitching and moaning because we're asking you to pay a little bit back to the system that you benefited so incredibly from? What the fuck is wrong with you greedy motherfuckers? I'm sick of you. It's the most absurd shit ever to hear rich motherfuckers in this country whine. Oh, poor as fucking me. The government wants me to pay a little bit more in taxes. I'll go from having $250 million in the bank to $225 million. How am I gonna live? You fucking pussy ass bitches. You're gonna live fine. You're still disgustingly fucking rich. How much is enough for you greedy motherfuckers? At what point do you say to yourself, I have enough money where I could even spend it in a thousand lifetimes. Maybe I'll ease back on the accumulation of wealth just a little bit. Maybe I'll enjoy this one fucking life I have instead of trying to make money every single day of my life. But you greedy motherfuckers, you never think that way. You're too busy whining and pissing and moaning because somebody's actually asking you to pay back a little bit to the system that fucking helped you. So I just read an article about how there's 21 trillion dollars in offshore bank accounts because you rich motherfuckers have sucked all this money out of the system and you don't want to pay back a little bit of taxes to help the system that helped you get your success. So you greedy rich assholes have funneled 21 trillion dollars of this money offshore. To me, that's treason against the American people. I'm just so fucking sick of you greedy cocksuckers. So that's it. The top 5%, I'm adding a 10% greed tax right away. I'm going to use that money to pay for jobs programs for people that fucking need jobs in this country. You top 5% claim you're some kind of magical ass job creators? We have more money now than you've ever fucking had in history. Where the fuck's the jobs, motherfuckers? It's just so fucking stupid, man. Rich people do not create jobs. It's a consumer-based economy, and in a consumer-based economy, consumers create the fucking jobs. Even a fucking homeless man who only has a dollar in his pocket, when he goes and buys a pack of gum, he's a fucking job creator. And the problem is, the top 1% have sucked so much fucking money out of the system that it's just sitting in their bank accounts right now, and there's not enough money left in the system for the rest of us to consume normally. Greed is fucking evil. Greed is not a good thing. These rich motherfuckers, they don't care about you. They don't give a fuck about you. Everybody knows that money saves lives. With all those hundreds of millions of dollars you rich motherfuckers have in your bank accounts, you can feed homeless people, you can help the sick, you can help save so many lives and end so much suffering. Do you really fucking think the greater good is done by you keeping these hundreds of millions of dollars in your bank accounts? Do you really fucking think that? A fucking course not. You know the greater good is not done. But you don't give a fuck about the greater good. You're so fucking greedy. You don't give a fuck about your fellow man. You don't give a shit about anything but your own selfish needs. Fuck that shit. The oligarchy is over. I'm tired of rich people running this country. No fucking more. I don't give a shit about your campaign donations. I ain't fucking doing what you say because I don't give a shit if I get elected again. I'm going to spend my four years in office doing what's best for the American people and fuck you rich motherfuckers who have bled this country dry. And go ahead, bitch and moan about the 10% tax increase. Go ahead, rich people, do it. See what the fuck happens to you. I'll make it 20%, motherfuckers. Doesn't he don't give a fuck. And next up, the number two thing on my agenda, I'm fucking making weed legal. What the fuck? There can be no freedom when nature is illegal. You got a fucking plant that makes people happy, that makes them nice to each other, that's never killed a single person in fucking history ever, and it's fucking illegal. What the fuck is wrong with you people? It's just the craziest goddamn shit. Cigarettes? Kill millions are fucking perfectly legal. Alcohol kills fucking millions. Perfectly legal. Prescription drugs? Motherfuckers dying left and right. Most of them celebrities. Fucking totally legal. I just don't understand what the fuck is going on in this society. It's fucking crazy town. You people don't make any fucking sense and just sit idly by and let all this stupid shit happen. It's so fucking frustrating. So look, starting tomorrow, I'm giving a presidential pardon for every single person that's in prison because of marijuana. 
I don't care how long your sentence is. If you've been sentenced for marijuana tomorrow, your ass is walking free. I'm sorry they put you in jail for this stupid bullshit. This system is so fucking silly, man. Weed is the number one cash crop in America right now. Instead of making money off this cash crop, we let the criminals make the money. And then we spend billions of dollars in law enforcement fighting this shit. Aren't you people tired of getting fucked in the ass? It's no wonder that America's the laughing stock of the fucking world. You people are morons. So I'm gonna clear out the prisons of all the people that are in there for weed, and then I'm gonna fill them back up again with the motherfuckers that actually deserve to be in there. I'm looking at you, Wall Street. Fucking Wall Street almost bankrupted the global economy. The obviously criminal big banks almost destroyed every fucking thing. They stole money from all of us, trillions of fucking dollars, and not a single person was ever held accountable for any of it. What the fuck did he fuck, people? You know what happens when you never hold anybody accountable for their wrongdoings? There's absolutely no reason for anybody to stop the bad behavior. The bad behavior continues on and on forever. You have to make examples out of motherfuckers. You have to hold these greedy, evil bastards up to the world and say, we do not accept this. This is not okay. We are not going to sit idly by and let you motherfuckers do this to us. We are going to hold you accountable. And if anybody comes after you and wants to behave like this, we're going to hold those motherfuckers accountable too. Which is why I'm setting up a special agency of prosecutors to go after these rich banker motherfuckers. We're going to dig through every motherfucking thing that happened in the financial crisis and we're going to put these motherfuckers in jail. We're going to hold them accountable. We're not going to sit idly by where they rape us. I'm going to do what no other president in history has ever fucking done. Hold rich motherfuckers accountable. It's a goddamn shame that none of these other presidents have ever had the balls to do this. That just shows you what they're really fucking made of. What the fuck is wrong with you American people? You do understand this is your money they're stealing, right? They're fucking taking your money right out of your pocket. And you're sitting there, you fat motherfuckers, just sitting on your couch, watching sports and other minutia that doesn't make a fucking bit of sense in the grand scheme of things, letting it happen like the lazy fucking sheep you are. You Americans are fucking pathetic. To be quite honest with you, I have no idea how I got elected in the first place. Sure is a good thing that my opponent got caught molesting all those children right before the boat. And I still only won by 2%. What the fuck, America? And next up on my hit list is the military. By some accounts, the military take 52 cents out of every tax dollar. That's the most fucking insane thing I've ever heard in my life. What the fuck, people? We are 5% of the population of Earth. 5%. Yet we spend more on our military machine than the other 95% of motherfuckers on Earth combined. That's the craziest shit ever. We're bankrupt. At what point does the American people wake up and realize this shit is totally insane? Why is it America's job to police the whole fucking world? What gives us the right? Where did we get the moral authority to do this? So starting tomorrow, I'm drafting legislation to cut the military by 50 fucking percent. That may seem like a lot, but even cutting it by 50 percent, we'll still have the largest military in the whole fucking world. It won't even be close. And seriously, if we're only 5 percent of the population on Earth. If we cannot protect ourselves and keep ourselves safe by only spending half of what every other country on Earth combined does, then maybe, just maybe, we need to consider the fact that we're the assholes and our diplomacy needs to change. And by all the money we get from taxing the rich and regulating weed and cutting the military, we're going to have plenty of fucking money to do other things that are really important that will help people, like health care. If socialized medicine is so bad, name a single country whose citizens have ever demanded they get rid of it once they had it. You can't because it ain't never fucking happened. Just like you'll never meet an old American motherfucker who wants you to get rid of his Medicare. Of course not. So starting next week, I'm drafting legislation to start socialized medicine in this country for everybody. Cradle to fucking grave coverage. None of this individual mandate shit. None of this buying insurance from private companies. Fuck that. The United States should be taking care of their citizens like every other first world country on earth. Healthcare should be a birthright of every citizen of this country. A decent and good society should take care of each other. It's not that complicated. So we're going to extend health care to every man, woman, and child in this country. And you greedy rich motherfuckers are going to pay for it. Whether you like it or not, I don't give a fuck. And speaking of things that should be right, so should education. I can think of little things that are more insane than the fact that the previous generation sells its knowledge to the next generation. What the fuck, people? We should be giving knowledge away to our kids, not selling it to them. We should be freely giving away our knowledge to any young person that wants to know it, not charging them to learn this shit. What kind of society charges the next generation for the information their fathers possess? It makes no sense. For the good of all mankind forever, we must give away our information to the next generation. We must enable them to be completely educated so that our society grows and builds and evolves to the apex in which it can be. 
And that's why I'm using the money saved by cutting the military to start free college for all American citizens. Government-run colleges, completely accredited, that anybody can go to for free and get their degree if they want to. Now, if you still want to go to these big fancy schools and pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to be educated, be my guest. I don't give a shit. But if you don't have that much money and you don't want to get yourself in debt for the rest of your life in student loans, the government will have your back. We will set up college campuses all over this country, completely subsidized by the government, so you people can have all the education that you want perfectly free. Education should be a right for every person. I'm going to make sure you get that right. I'm President Dusty Smith, and I love the ever-loving shit out of you motherfuckers.